Greetings, hockey fans, and welcome back to FSN and continuing coverage of the Island Junior Hockey League Finals. Another edition of Behind the Bench with Coach Craig and his Sherwood Metros. A great opportunity with back-to-back -back home games at the East Link Center coming up Wednesday and Friday. Looking to bounce back after a 6-3 loss in Evangeline. Coach Craig talks about a couple of his players, but first, he will break down that game and talk about how it probably took about two periods before the game would come to them. As always, uh, Craig, thank you very much uh, for joining us here today on FSN. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, so basically, we, we thought we were playing a decent game. Um, it's just kind of the way things go with Western. If you give them an opportunity... Um, they are likely to score. They're, they're a great offensive team. Um, and so basically our message was, you know, we, we can't quit. We can't roll over and, and, and die. You know, it's a seven-game series. So if we're going to get the attitude where we're going to quit, you know, we're not going to get very far. So, you know, every lick counts in a seven-game series. So, you know, you can't roll over. you gotta, you got to go hard for the, you know, for the full, full duration of the game. What did the team do in the third period to be uh, successful against uh, Western that you want to see them carry forward? I believe a couple of those goals were on the power play. Um, and, 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 you know, special teams in the playoffs is huge. And, and we, we do try to work on it um, um, quite often. Uh, we, we had looks earlier in the game, too, on the power play where, you know, Shaw, he, he, he broke two sticks in the slot on, you know, point blank opportunity. Um, but I, I think Coyce is stuck with it. You know, offensively, we were there all game. We were getting good chances. Um, and they weren't going in or they are missing the net or something. You know, just not not in our favor was happening. And then the third started to, you know, kind of find the back of the net a little more. Oh, Shaw's a big kid, there's no doubt. Um, but, like, he, he doesn't go looking to be, you know, physical. It just, it comes kind of naturally to him. He's not going out of his way to hit guys or, or anything like that. He just finishes his checks and, you know, like you said, he's a big kid, so, you know, it's great that he is physical and then, yeah, offensively, you know, he, he brings a lot to the table for us. He's actually great at, you know, taking the puck from our end and, and, and carrying it down the ice. That's also a huge thing for us, you know. He, he does bring a lot to the table. Nick's a great offensive hockey player. Um, he's got great hands and good patience. Um, so obviously that, that helps when you're, you're dishing the puck. Um, and yeah, I think throughout the year, once he got to our team, it took him a bit to you know, settle into his role or whatever, but he's really starting to click for us now. It's huge. I think all our defense has been playing really well. Um, you know, Hunter Bradley's obviously you know, he won the top defense in the league. He's, he's, a, he's a horse out there. But then Teddy Robbins is really playing extremely well. Um, Fozzie, he, he's playing unbelievable as well. Jason Coley's playing unbelievable. Richie's playing really well. And then in that sixth spot, we always have a called-up defenseman or whatever you want to call it. And they're, they're filling the role that we need them to fill perfectly. So, you know, our D are playing really well. Um, it's just, like I said, Western's a really good offensive team. And, any mistake that you make, they kind of seem to capitalize on it. So we just got to, you know, learn to limit those mistakes. Yeah, it's definitely becoming familiar to us. Um, we've been practicing there, you know, for the full length of the playoffs so far. Um, so, yeah, it, it's great to be heading back home. But I think I said it in a previous interview, um, it, it really hockey's hockey. It doesn't matter where you're playing. Um, you can't use that as an excuse just because you're in someone else's rank that, you know, that's the reason you're losing or that's the reason you're not playing as good. Um, hockey talkie. Obviously, it's great to be home, but, you know, really, we got to focus and play the right way no matter where we're at. As always, uh, Coach Craig, thank you very much for joining us here today, and good luck in the rest of the playoffs. We'll see you Wednesday night. Yep, 100%. Thanks so much.
Yes, that's right. FSN will be there Wednesday night game two. Also, East Link Center, Charlottetown Friday night. Both games, 7.30. Get online, eastlinkcenterpei.com to order those tickets or buy that phone number right there, 629-6625. Reporting for FSN, I'm Jeremy McDonald. Thanks for watching and please share away.